Okay, y'all. So anytime I do a project, I have to throw on the music. Sometimes it takes me a long time, especially when it's something I never done today. Um, so today you're going to need some uh, different size cardboard boxes, any cardboard boxes that you have left over, some you can get from the store. I have some um, glue, some spraying glue, some glue for my glue gun. I also, um, I missed the part, but I had some um, tissue paper, scissors, and this um, box cutter as well. So starting off, I'm going to be uh, cutting out the top portion. I'm gonna leave a little space in between here because this is where the eyes of the character will go. And then I'm gonna cut in a little bit closer around uh, the other edges. Today, I'm going to be creating some Super Wings characters um, for my son's birthday party. He loves Super Wings as well as uh, my oldest daughter does. So I'm going to make Jet for him. I'm making Mira for my youngest daughter, and then I will be making Dizzy for my oldest daughter. Uh, right now, I'm gonna be cutting out the nose of the plane for uh, Mira, is the first one I'm actually starting with. So you'll just need like an edge piece, and you're gonna cut all the way around, as you will see me do. Okay, and I'm just gonna cut off some excess uh, here. Um, I'm just kind of measuring as I go. It probably would be better if you have a ruler of some sort to um, measure things out, just so you can get it you know, as precise as you want. I'm just going with the flow and you, as you'll see, just using what I have. So now I, need to, I see that I need to cut it down across this way. And literally, I'm just figuring this stuff out like as I'm going as you will have to do as well as long as you know like you know what you're looking for then i feel like you can free ball the rest you'll figure the rest out just um take your time definitely take your time don't rush um, allow your mind to think and figure out how everything needs to go and that really is the best way to describe it uh <laughs> god just made me creative and you know, I feel like he's, he blessed us all with a mind to think. So just take your time. You can do it. It's nothing too hard. And with practice, you know, always practice. I hate when I finish a sentence like that, but like with practice, you know, makes perfect. You can make, learn to make things better um, as you go and you just keep trying. So now, yeah, I just had to cut out the bottom portion of this. Um, and the nose really took me, it took me a while to get it, get it right the way um, I like. And you'll see that as well as we go through the video. Y'all don't mind me, look. I just had to get my praise in, okay? <laughs> I just, I feel like when you're doing a project like this, like you just have to have fun. Make fun of it because if not, it's gonna feel like super stressful. So now I'm getting um, a piece on, I'm referring back to my phone. I'm starting on the eyes for my character. Um, which is why I left that one little um, piece towards the front a little bit thicker so I could stick the eyes in right there up top. Definitely make sure you have, you know, a photo. I found photos on Pinterest of people who had already done this project and then I just kind of made it my own. But referring, having something referred to definitely helps when you're creating anything. If you're not that, you know, creative. 
And y'all excuse me if, if y'all feel like I'm just like rambling on. The voiceover things are weird for me. <laughs> so I'm figuring it out, okay? And now I'm just measuring um, along the top here how long, about how long it needs to be for me to be able to stick um, the eyepiece in. And there you have it, there go our eyes. So right now I saw that the top was gonna be like, um, the top of the nose was gonna be coming over the eyes and we don't want that, we want the nose under the eyes. So I'm just cutting off, trimming off some of the top here. And then I am stripping off some of the sides because it just, I don't want the nose overlapping uh, the whole entire face, even though it, the nose does make a big part of the face. I just don't want it coming off to the sides of the plane is what I'm trying to say. And then I just got some strips of cardboard here, and this is gonna help me to secure the nose in because if I just place glue on the edges and try to push it onto the edges, more than likely it, it will break um, a lot easier. So with those little strips, you know, um, you just glue a piece of it on the front and a piece of it underneath. And I'm sorry that I did not show that um, better here for you, but I hope me explaining it was good enough for you. One tip I do wanna suggest is like, if you can have your area as organized as possible, um, have somewhere to put up your glue gun on when you're not using it, like a stand or something, uh, because I did not post it in here, but I burnt myself on that <laughs> glue gun, I burnt my leg. So y'all just be careful, be mindful of what you're doing. If you if you have like a stand so you can put your scissors in your car, you know, your box cutter when you're not using it. I definitely recommend that. Don't hurt yourself. Right here, I'm taking out two um, like of those little pieces that you just saw. I'm gonna use that for uh, the wings of the plane or the arms. The arms, really, actually. Excuse me, it's for the arms. I didn't put wings on there. I just felt like it was extra. They only use it when they're flying anyway, so I just put the arms. And now y'all, I'm second my guessing myself. Do they use it? Do they have the wings out with the arms? Lord, forgive me if I said that wrong, y'all. Look, okay? Either way, it comes out looking nice, as you will see at the end, okay? And now I'm measuring again where the arm, well, measuring again, but for where the arms will go this time. Um, and I didn't mention it before, but you know, just looking at the picture, you can kind of see the shape for how the arm should be and then cut that shape out. So I'm cutting kind of like in a, a rectangle out and I'm just gonna pop that rectangle piece out right here make it easy for the arm to go through and then of course we got to secure that baby because you know kids are rough
And y'all excuse me, it was early in the morning, my husband made breakfast, so you see me chewing and drinking, look, I had to eat. You do not want to do this on an empty stomach because it can take a long time. If you're not like used to doing things like this, it can take a really long time. So y'all see my wing? Look at my wing! I mean my arm, y'all. I keep calling them wing. Look at my arm. <laughs> and I'm just cutting out the other arm right here. And I'm so glad my husband came to help because we uh, were short for time. And we ended up being a little bit late anyway. <laughs> just terrible. <laughs> the party was at his parents' house, but you know, when it's just family, you can kind of do that. Oh, and I did cut like little slits on the sides, little flaps. Um, I don't know if I was trying to make the arm more, like if it moved, it's okay. It can move two different ways and it'd be all right. That way it's secure on both sides, if um, I'm explaining that well. And also one thing that I did differently is we kind of just did um, like a mosaic, mosaic art on it kind of, so to speak, paper mache. I can't even think of the correct word. <laughs> but I'm just cutting up into a bunch of pieces and we're just gonna glue it on just to give it a different texture or feel. Um, but you can do this however you want. You can paint the box if you want, you know, whatever you think would look best. And again, we're just securing right here. And a lot of my supplies, y'all, I just got from the Dollar Tree. You don't, like, this can be the least, you know, inexpensive thing that you do. Because when you buy stuff like this, it, it gets really pricey. Um, but if you can learn to do it yourself, hey, by all means, and save you some money. Okay, so this one's actually this box is actually gonna be jet, the box that I'm working on now. And you guys, if you can find somebody to do this with, totally do it. Like if you're good at explaining how you want things done, you know, or it's just a fun project that um, you and somebody could figure out together. Makes for great, great memories. Even if you mess it up, <laughs> it's something to laugh about later. And you know what too, I feel like this is like really kind of in a way sentimental because you really took your time out to, you know, do something nice. You created it with your hands. And I feel like there's so much joy in being able to do that, you know. Okay, now he's getting ready the eyes for Mira. She has like some yellow trim around her eyes, so he's preparing all of that. And unfortunately, guys, you will not see me um, actually like creating uh, Dizzy. We were pressed for time, and I ended up having to do something, and so I had to cut the video, but you, I will show you guys pictures of all three of the um, super wings at the end, so do not worry. And now I'm getting on some of the red uh, pieces of paper for Jet. This was so exciting. Like when you start seeing it come together, it's like, oh snap, like it's about to just look really good, you know? So.
but or just any any creative idea that you want to try. Um, call number four. have lying around the house so I've heard too many stories of that and here we are getting another arm on All right, y'all, so we're getting towards the end where I just, you know, I, like I said, I had to cut things um, short. Uh, I had to get dressed and do all that good stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm about to show you guys the pictures and some pictures of my kids just enjoying them. If you guys try this, comment down below, let me know how it turns out, show me some pictures, uh, link me, send me the link to some of your videos or whatever you have, okay? Y'all have a blessed one.